What's up everybody, it's Joe here with Joseph Blake Photography and in today's video we're going to be talking about two new Enterprise drones that we have from Autel. Before we get into the info about the drones, I'm Joe. This is my channel, Joseph Blake Photography, where we talk about gear and tips and tricks and reviews and news and rumors and adventures and everything that goes into content creation, whether it is here on YouTube or on any of the other social media places that you can be posting content. Maybe you're doing weddings, maybe you're doing skate videos, whatever you're making. On this channel, we talk about the gear, the tools, and the techniques that we use to make it. Social links all down below, and if at the end of the video you think I've done a good job, I would appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe. But now let's get into the info about these new drones from Autel. And before we talk about the stats and specs on these drones, I do want to mention that Autel was just recently added to the Department of Commerce's Entities list, which if you remember from my video where we talked about DJI being added to the Entities list, it just makes it harder for federal agencies here in the United States to buy their stuff. But there is more and more going on in Washington here in the United States to prevent or restrict the ability for Chinese drone manufacturers, DJI specifically, from being able to sell their technology, their products here in the United States. Most recently, the Senate appropriations bill for the Defense Department just had the Restricting CCP Drones Act re-added to the Senate version of their bill. So I might do a separate video about that, but just FYI, everything is still in flux as we talk about new drones from manufacturers, even if they are not DJI. So Autel, uh, who has made a number of drones, and I've done some videos about some of their drones here on the channel, makes some really cool and compelling products. Most recently, they came out with their Evo Light line, and the two drones that we have just learned are being released this week and are available for pre-order are the Evo Enterprise line. Both of these drones are equipped with aerial imaging sensors as well as their AI-based object tracking and recognition system. And the Evo Light Plus Enterprise looks a lot like the Evo Light Plus consumer version. One inch sensor, shoots 20 megapixel stills, and it can shoot 6K video at 30 frames per second. It's also got some great capabilities in low light conditions and it has a variable aperture of f2.8 to f11, which is really nice to have, especially if you're going to be in conditions where the light might be changing. Now, Drone DJ is claiming that this product is going to have a four over three sensor, along with the ability to shoot 50 megapixel stills and 5.3K video. I'm gonna be real honest, I think Drone DJ may have some AI blog writing issues because in that same article that they posted, they also have links to products at Autel that are for pre-sale that are not the ones that they are actually posting about. So if you look at Autel directly, we do have two products, but they are not the Evo Lite Plus Enterprise and the Evo Pro Enterprise. They are the 640T, and the Evo Light 6K Enterprise Editions. Now the 640T is a one half inch image sensor and is coupled with a thermal sensor. While the Light 6K has that one inch sensor with the 20 megapixel stills, but no mention from Autel directly about the Pro model, though that may be coming soon. That's in none of the materials that were released by Autel. It just happens to be mentioned in this drone DJ article. So I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure what they've got going on there. So you've got one drone with the one inch sensor, one drone with the half inch sensor coupled with a thermal sensor. And one really cool thing about these drones is that they are being touted as having a 40 minute flight time. Interestingly, the mentioned wind speed resistance is a fresh breeze. I don't know what a fresh breeze is. How fast is a fresh breeze? Is that five? Miles per, is it 10? Is it in kilometers an hour? And interestingly, they both weigh 866 grams, which is about 100 grams less than some of the similarly specced drones from DJI. So nice that they have 40 minutes of flight time and they are a little bit lighter than their cousins over at DJI. What I'm really curious about, let me know down in the comments. First of all, are you the type of person that's using these enterprise level drones? Obviously they are marketed towards law enforcement, agriculture, industrial applications, inspections, things like that. And that 
that's a huge industry and drones are really revolutionizing, I think, a lot of the ways that we do some of those jobs. But let me know down in the comments if that's something that you're doing or if that's where kind of drone information is bringing you into this market for. You also can pre-order the Autel Evo Lite 6K Enterprise Edition on their website. These drones are also coming with their visual perception system with front, back, and down facing cameras, though no up facing cameras, and they do not describe this as a 360 degree obstacle avoidance system like you would get with a DJI Air or Mavic series drone. Their enterprise models also include things like a tripod mode, split screen mode in their smart controller, as well as offline maps, which I think is really cool. However, I was not able to find pricing on the Evo Lite Enterprise with the thermal imaging sensor only for the Light Plus with the one inch sensor by itself. But I like that Autel is out there competing with DJI, though I would really like to see some additional companies, maybe not based in China, being able to produce some of this technology so that we can get more competition in the market. But we also have the DJI EO, which should be honestly out any day now. And this drone I think is gonna make a big hit uh, in the drone market, especially in the FPV market. This thing is going to be very inexpensive. It's super, super lightweight. It has a 4K camera on it. It, it does have a down-facing obstacle avoidance. And with its AI quick shots feature with the button on the top and the guards, I think this is all about consumer accessibility. In addition to the fact that we're also hearing rumors that it may have the ability to listen for and react to voice instructions for the AI Quick Shots feature. We know it's gonna be 135 grams. We know that it's gonna be 4K stabilized. We know that it's gonna have the AI Quick Shots feature with the button on the back. We know that it's probably gonna have about 15 minutes of flight time, that the Fly More combo that's less than $400 will come with three batteries, the controller and the drone, and that there will also be a motion controller version, and that it will be Goggles 3 compatible. Also from DJI in the kind of commercial drone space, uh, is the fact that they have actually had two of their drones approved by the FAA for commercial flight over people. Now, one of the big things about flying drones is that you're really, you're not allowed to fly over people. You can fly over yourself. You're not people. I'm not people. So when we're flying our own drones, we are not people, but other people are people. And so you can't fly drones over people that are other people that aren't you because you're not people. So this allows certain DJI drones to fly over people without a waiver. And this is specifically the M3DT, the Mavic 3, that is part of the Dock 2 product, which I also did a video about and I will link up above. So basically the Mavic 3 Enterprise and Mavic 3 Enterprise thermal camera drones are now approved to fly over people, even though technically they're over 0.55 pounds, which traditionally would require a waiver. So this means that anyone who would be potentially flying over people, and think about um, delivery, think about first responders, emergency rescue, things like that. If you were gonna fly over people, traditionally with a 107, part 107 license, you would need to have an individual waiver for that flight. Now these drones, specifically the Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Thermal, used in various applications, you will no longer need those individual waivers. And that makes these drones a lot more palatable, I would say, to folks who are looking to be able to deploy them into these different environments quickly, easily, and without a whole lot of red tape and paperwork. This puts a lot of interesting variables, though, into the ongoing conversation in the United States Congress about banning DJI drones and Chinese drones in particular. So if we've got Autel drones that are new and lightweight, we've got DJI drones that now have additional capabilities through, you know, they've got the Mini that is also, you know, 250 gram requirement for licensure. There's so many different things that are out there, so many different variables that seem to go into this conversation about the applicability of drones in our daily lives, in business, in content creation, and just in fun and recreation that just blanket saying that they're bad and that we should ban these companies from using the airwaves as it is in the CCP Drones Act. It's tough stuff. That's complicated. There's a lot going on there.
Anyway, that's what we've got on drone news this week. It's a lot, honestly. But thank you so much for watching. If that's the kind of thing that you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so that you know when I make new content. Find me on all the social media sites down below. That's a free and easy way that you can support the channel. You can also head over to my website, jblake.photo forward slash blog, where I am posting news and tips and tricks about photography and videography and drones and stuff like that. I'm still rebuilding that, so bear with me a little bit, but if you wanna head over there and maybe follow me on your RSS reader of choice, that would be great. And last but not least, if you are interested in going just the extra mile in supporting the channel, I have opened up memberships which are available. I do make some videos available a little bit early for those folks. And we'll be doing some lives and some chats and things like that. So I really appreciate folks who are doing that. But the biggest thing that you can do for me is just hit that like button or comment down below and let me know how crazy this stuff is about drones and all the good things that we're talking about. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it, especially to the subscribers out there who now make up uh, a huge percentage of the folks who are watching my videos. Thank you again. And a majority of my subscribers do have the bell on and they are getting those notifications and they are watching those videos. So again, thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.